Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I have a video for you about trolls on the internet. Who are they and how do they act in real life? I actually have some scientific data to back this up. If you look down here in the description, the very first link is to an image. It's a graph from a study that was done last year. It's, it's got the author's name and proper credit on there, but it describes the personality traits of internet trolls. So if you want to go ahead and open that up in a new tab, it'd probably be really you know, beneficial because I'm going to reference it a lot in this video. Gameplay that you're going to get to see on the rest of the screen is me using the SAC3 Kimbo submachine guns on Biolab. Not the most amazing or try hardest of gameplay, but it was one where I honestly genuinely had fun. And in a more heartfelt video like this, or an unplanned one, I, I usually have a little script or notes. I have none of that today. I like to use what I consider to be honest gameplay. It's very, I don't know, outreaching, forthcoming, not entirely sure. But let's talk about trolls. I talk a lot, uh, mostly on Twitter. I also t reach out on YouTube comments. I try to read all the YouTube comments on my videos for the first day or two, and I try to read like 90% of the tweets I get. I miss some of them, but it's like thousands of messages a day I read them, and I reply quite a lot, actually. I reply to good messages, and I reply to bad ones. Some of those are from trolls. The idea in replying to the bad ones is to figure out what went wrong with this person, why they're upset, and how to fix that because for every one person that sends me a message that's upset that's unsubscribing or something went wrong there's probably like 20 or 30 more that just said nothing and bounced and i try to understand my audience good and bad and how to you know sort of prevent such misunderstandings and be a better youtuber and person in general the idea is also that you can reach out to these people that are angry or sometimes trolling and reach a nice reasonable amicable uh, experience agreement whatever that is almost never uh the case with trolls some people have a legitimate problem and you can talk to them and solve this problem some of them are just trolls and they're going to troll all day and hate and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Best thing to do is just block them and be on with it. And uh, this video in particular is n actually not a response to me arguing with, with Birdman uh, a couple of days back. I was actually planning this for weeks. I had all the little bookmarks and links ready to go. It's just absolutely perfectly coincidental timing. Let's talk about troll personalities. Who are these people that just get on the internet and talk trash all day like... Who watches a video, like the whole thing, and just say like, th like I'll make a reference like 12 minutes into the video, and they'll write a message about that reference in the most hateful like comment ever, indicating that they sat there for 12 minutes watching this whole video, then hated the whole thing, left a comment about it, obviously designed to be hurtful, spiteful, that sort of thing. Or you can see the same sort of thing, like they'll, a couple of innocent questions will snowball into something really hateful and mean. The study that was done, this was done on Amazon using their Mechanical Turk site, they were asking people personality questions to kind of get like, these are standard uh, psychological diagnosis questions that the DVSM uses that just determines personality traits about you, and they compared it to their commenting history and what they claim they were doing, what they're actually doing, a lot of different little things. And what we found is that internet trolls are actually horrible people in real life too. And that the best people on the internet are those that leave no comments at all. And this is where that graph would be really helpful. So they looked at the dark tetrad of personality traits. This is four personality traits that are generally called dark or evil. You have Machiavellianism, which is probably one you're not as familiar with. Think uh, Frank Underwood from House of Cards. It was a style of politics. It's also a type of psychology. You're emotionally detached. You're cynical. You're manipulative. You have little to no morals or pragmatic shifting morals. And you get empowerment or enjoyment from manipulation manipulating people. So you've got Machiavellianism, you've got narcissism, which is interest in self, building up one's own self-worth, very inward thinking, very like other people should pay attention to me, I'm the best at everything. Uh, a lot of different ways that narcissism can manifest, good looks, whatever, you're probably all very familiar with it. You have psychopathy, which we're also familiar with. Psychopaths, I would like to describe as being people with very abnormal emotional states or very detached from the rest of us. They're almost like not human in a way. Many of them are completely emotionally flat or dead. These are the mass murderers. These are the Dexters in the world. These are typically your serial killers or honestly sometimes politicians or surgeons are I think higher in psychopathy because they don't feel as emotionally attached to their patients. It actually allows them to work better because they're not as under as much pressure. And lastly, sadism. Sadism is where you get enjoyment from causing other people pain. Uh, they measured direct and vicarious. There's a couple of different ways you can hurt people, uh, but they all scored very highly in these. So internet trolls scored way higher on this dark tetrad of personality disorders than normal people. So the non-commenting person actually scored a little bit lower than average. So the people that don't leave comments, that generally means that they are further away from evil, and I will therefore imply or assume nicer or better people 
than the average citizen anywhere in the world just in general not just the internet so the people that never leave comments are probably going to be the nicest and best people that debate issues now this is like serious actual debate not just trolling but people that actually are interested in discussing issues with others rank higher on these evil personality traits than the normal person but not significantly so not tremendously people that chat a little bit uh, they have a little bit on the sadism but they're actually very very close to normal so people that just chat or talk are very normal for the most part and trolls however are massively like off the charts on this uh, machiavellianism narcissism psychopathy and sadism like, if you're looking at the graph right now you'll see exactly what i'm talking about they're just way out there and the crazy thing is about this study which you can google and you can read about more the bigger a troll a person was or the more evil or highly they rated on that the longer amount of time they actually spent on the internet talking with people just in general so the people that spend the most time on the internet are literally the trolls and the people that spend the least time well maybe not on the internet we'll say time engaged in commenting and discussing or whatever the most normal people spent the least amount of time engaging discussing with others on the internet which is exactly why you see the majority of youtube comments twitch Twitch comments and nowadays now that reddit's going very mainstream and flooding reddit comments are getting pretty awful too that's why you see the majority of the comments being negative because it's mostly the evil people that are really attracted to this sort of thing because it allows them to very easily reach out and hurt others which is very unfortunate so when engaging with these people i have a pretty straightforward policy of just clicking the block button or banning them from the channel or deleting them because the majority of these people that write horrible hateful things they're not interested in voicing a grievance, an opinion, having a discussion. They don't really care if I did something wrong in the video or they weren't really politically offended or their mother really didn't die of whatever disease I said wasn't a big deal. Their only goal is to hurt and cause you know, like pain and chaos and torture, literally like the Joker from Batman. That's it. And these people do exist in real life. And it's kind of a scary thought because you think about how many there are on the internet. They're like everywhere. And I was like, that's like, oh my God, that means everybody around me is evil. I'm the only good person in the neighborhood. Not true uh, for two reasons. Number one, it's because again, trolls are more likely to leave comments. And number two, uh, this type of thing is actually healthy for them. So, internet trolls, talking trash on the internet, trying to hurt people's feelings, get a rise out of people, whatever. The more time they spend doing that on the internet, it's a big release. The less time they spend doing that in the real world. So, like, the, 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 the real world, face-to-face -face interaction, actual crimes, actual theft, theft, actual, like, you know, put-downs or whatever are doing much better because they're venting all their problems on the internet. So my best advice to you is just ignore all the crap you read on the internet because it's mostly just by horrible evil people that use this to vent. And if you are a nice person on the internet, if you're in the non-commenting section, I highly encourage you to come out, put down your white knight flag, and uh, say something nice today. That's all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. And if you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.